As a longtime board member of the CNCS and someone who has been affiliated with the corporation since its founding, it has been a great privilege for me to serve in this way. And I've had the good fortune to be a champion and an advocate for the agency, to work with three administrations and eight different leaders of the corporation. They've each offered appropriate leadership for the maturity of the organization and the field of service in volunteering. The last time CNCS was in a transition when we had an acting CEO, it was a very productive period in our history. We led the largest King Day in history. We saw the passage and the implementation of the Edward M. Kennedy Serve America Act, implementing Recovery Act dollars in record time and with effective impact. And we saw the largest increase in appropriation in the agency's histories. So these interim periods can be productive and important ones. And I believe we are fortunate that our acting CEO right now, Robert Velasco, is certainly up to the challenges that we face. He is a seasoned and a tested leader in the federal government. He is committed to effective leadership that includes, first and foremost, listening to practitioners, assessing impact, and then refining delivery to meet the ever-changing environment that we all operate in. He has 15 years of executive branch management experience, including directing uh, performance reporting efforts and working with some of the most complex structures in the federal government. Now, to my view, he sounds like he is tailor-made for national service. So on behalf of our board of directors, I could not be more confident to introduce to you the man who now leads the Corporation for National and Community Service. He is responsible for implementing President Obama's vision of national service as a key ingredient of successful communities. Please join me in welcoming Robert Velasco. There you go. Good morning. Thank you, Mark, for that gracious introduction. And thank all of you for that very warm welcome. As Mark said, this is the start of my second week as acting CEO, and this is my first national conference. Talk about a baptism by fire. But the challenges I face, and most of the challenges you face every day, are nothing compared to what we just saw in that video. From New Orleans to Tuscaloosa to Joplin, before, during, and after disasters that rip at the heart of families and communities, the dedicated men and women who serve in our national service programs and the volunteers they serve with are on the front lines giving hope and help to people when they need it most. For six years, the miracle of the human spirit has been on full display in the Gulf Coast. Millions of volunteers have come to help rebuild a stronger and better New Orleans a stronger and better Mississippi. This could not have happened without the leadership and infrastructure provided by national service. Let's take a moment and thank the dedicated men and women in our national service programs who have done so much to help this region come back. As we meet here today, hundreds of senior Corps volunteers and AmeriCorps members are responding to disasters in Mississippi, in Alabama, in Missouri, in Massachusetts, in Vermont, in North Dakota. But that's not all. When a student needs a tutor or mentor, you can count on us. When a returning veteran needs help finding a job, you can count on us. When children need a safe place to play or a blighted neighborhood needs cleaning up, you can count on us. That's what we do. That's who we are, 365 days a year. We're part of a proud American tradition. From our earliest days, volunteers have helped us through our greatest challenges and triumphs. We've always believed in the idea that we can change things, we can make things better, 
We can solve problems when we join together. Today, as so many Americans face hardship, we need that spirit more than ever. While the call to lead this extraordinary agency was unexpected, I am deeply honored to have this opportunity. I'm humbled by your examples of compassion. And I'm eager to work with you on the big issues facing our country. Our focus must continue to be the priority set forth in the Serve America Act, targeting resources on critical problems, expanding opportunities to serve, embracing innovation, and resolutely focusing on impact and results. We need to do our best work at every level and at every moment. We also must recognize that our environment has changed. While there is growing recognition for the value of service, it's coming at a time of unprecedented debt and deficits. The attempt to eliminate funding for national service was rejected, but it may come back again. This is a challenge we didn't ask for, but it is one we must surmount. Communities, schools, nonprofit organizations, and individuals across the country are counting on us. We must continue to tell our powerful story of innovative, cost-effective solutions, making the case that a government investment in service is economically sound and good for the country. Whether you are associated with AmeriCorps, Senior Corps, or Learn and Serve America, whether you are a funder or grantee or volunteer, whether you are a hands-on action center or a volunteer manager for a nonprofit organization, you represent some of the most creative, entrepreneurial, and innovative solutions in America. This is hard work. This is what we do. But in these times, when we are all being asked to do more with less, we must redouble our efforts to achieve and demonstrate the transformative difference we are making in the lives of those we serve and those who serve. This is what is expected of us, and nothing less. <laughs>